Hello, my name is Kevin Cavell and I'm a Solutions Manager here at Keysight Technologies. Today I'd like to introduce you to the PD-1000A Power Device Measurement System for Advanced Modeling. But before I do that, just to give you a little bit of background of why we created this solution, uh, there's new technology in semiconductors called wide band gap semiconductors. This is just an example. Uh, they're made out of silicon carbide and gallium nitride, not together, but separately. And there's some advantages in high power applications for power converters in things like electric vehicles and uh, inverters for solar farms. Uh, because they're faster, making them more efficient, they're also smaller and run cooler. And when you're using them in your designs, usually you want to do a simulation of that device within your overall design. And unfortunately, traditional models don't properly simulate these new wideband gap semiconductor devices. Uh, the reason is they switch so fast that there's some high frequencies in there that you need to take into consideration where traditional silicon you didn't need to take that into consideration. So in order to create the best model you want to make actual measurements on the device that you're going to use uh, and that's where our solution comes into play. So there's uh, three different pieces of, of the solution. Uh, today, we're introducing only two of those pieces, and we have a third piece that will be introduced later in 2018. Uh, the first piece is our power device analyzer measurement piece, and you can see uh, that's this here. You can put your semiconductor device into this fixture and fire up the system, make all the measurements that you need, uh, IV, CV curve measurements as well as gate charge and a slew of other measurements uh, with this system and feed that into the model. The second part of the system is our S parameter measurement system which consists of a network analyzer and a bias power supply. This uh, part of the system will take S parameter measurements. Um, there's a couple accessories that come along that you can see in front. We have some bias T's uh, to block the DC from going into the uh, network analyzer and to block the uh, high frequency from going into the power supply and then uh, fixturing to hold the device. This uh, fixture is for the TO247 package. We have one for the TO220 package and then another for uh, surface mount devices. And then you can see also we have some calibration standards uh, for when you use the network analyzer you want to calibrate all the calibrate out all the wiring so that you get a most accurate measurement. Uh, so this might look complicated, but we try to make it really streamlined with uh, the software. So the software is uh, controlling all of the hardware, so there's actually minimal interaction with the hardware. Uh, the software does all the heavy lifting for you. So once uh, you configure the software, it'll do all the measurements, your IVCV, your S parameter, and creates a bunch of files in a folder on your PC. Uh, you then take those files and feed them into a piece of software called the Power Electronics Model Generator. And then within this software, you can create the actual model. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of different tweaks that you can make depending on what type of model or uh, parameters you want. Uh, and it creates the model that you can then use in Keysight's suite of simulation software tools such as uh, ADS, EM Pro, and Momentum. And you can simulate the circuit design, the electromagnetic effects, and a whole slew of other different things. The goal is with this very accurate model, you create very accurate circuit simulations. And when you actually create your first real prototype, you are much more likely to have the performance that you simulated be the actual real world performance of your device. Eliminating design cycles, saving you time and money, uh, and also the potential of having failed devices. Um, so that's the PD-1000A power device measurement system for advanced modeling, an overview. We'll have uh, a few more videos that go more in depth into each piece of the system. So please continue watching and uh, we'll go into those details. Thanks for watching the overview.